based on the current needs or the local regulations, you can decide in which uh, detail level, which level of geometry you would like to represent your model in. Uh, and uh, based on uh, how many uh, 3D views you have, you can actually make different level of geometry settings uh, window by window, view by view. So let's see how that works. Now in my view one, I use the default level of geometry setting, which is the documentation. Documentation is uh, only one of those settings. You actually have by default five different level of uh, geometry uh, levels. Uh, the symbolic, the schematic, the detailed, the documentation, that is the default, and the construction. Now, if I would like to, I can represent the same exact model in a different view uh, with different level of geometry. So um, what I'm doing, I just organize this model. So now you can see I have one 3D window and one uh, 2D window with the content of the uh, 2D uh, floor plan. And then now if I click here, I can create a second 2D window, I mean a second 3D window, and here I can change the level of geometry to something, for example, like schematic. Once I do that, the software will update the 3D and it will eliminate all the details that are not necessary in the schematic default setting. And you will see that uh, here there are less details. Uh, there are no doors and no windows. Uh, the walls and slabs are less detailed with no layers in them and also the railings are disappeared. Let me just organize the content so that we can compare the two results. Here on the other side with the documentation level, I have everything that I've designed inside, all the railings, all the rafters uh, and the layers of the walls, the, con the proper connections between them and many of the surrounding details that I have created and I have designed inside. So that's why the default is the uh, documentation level, but I can decide it to make it simpler. And the uh, reason could be several. Uh, so for example, if I'm commun communicating with another profession that does not need the fully detailed architectural model with all the layers, for example, I send over my model to an MEP designer, I can just uh, get rid of the details that are not necessarily with the default setting and I can just export it and uh, send, uh, send it over to the MEP designer, uh, they can make the, the, the things that are um, their job, their task to do, and then they can send it over and I can pay, place it uh, or link it into my model uh, to the proper location. So this is how it goes uh, if I have two different views with two different uh, level of geometry. Now, whenever I click uh, in the 2D and I update the 3D using the quick 3D model, and there are any other changes that are not represented in either of those windows yet, the software will update both of them with the proper level of geometry settings. Now, if I would like to, I can, uh, however, uh, customize this a little bit, or I can just have a, have a quick overview of uh, what sort of settings I have. So now here I can see that I have view one and I have view two. View one is with the documentation settings and view two, is with the uh, schematic setting. Now, if I click here, I can also uh, this, uh, detail whether I would like to see the uh, detail layers, the wall framings, the, the, the tiles on the wall surfaces, uh, the opening directions, and I can also uh, select how I would like to represent the roof tiles. Now, as this is a schematic representation, I don't want to see any of those, uh, but if I would like to, I can customize those a little bit. And also here, I can customize which floors I would like to actually see in the 3D and also what sort of element types. Now, I will talk about this a little bit later and now I'm closing this dialogue using cancel. And the reason I'm not pushing OK now, because OK would update the 3D content, but as nothing has changed, I just came here to check the details. I don't want to wait for the update. I just hit cancel. Okay, so uh, so this is how you can update the content whenever it's necessary. And let's see a third option when you can actually use uh, one of those ready-made settings, but you can also have, uh, actually customize them. So for that reason, I'm opening up a third 3D window. This will be view three, which is actually um, an extra metric view. So I had to uh, make a, a fit into window zoom. And then now we can see that the default setting, just as I told before, is the documentation level. Now here I could go and select symbolic, but I would like to do a little bit more than that. I would like to customize how, how uh, the symbolic view is represented. So now I come here into this uh, drop down menu in view in 3D model, and I click on LOG settings, and then it 
brings up the LOG, uh, the level of geometry settings there. And there's a small description here to help me understanding what uh, are the different level of geometry settings for by default. But I have the option to go here and select the proper view that I'm willing to work on. Now this is actually view three with the extrometric view, this is it. And I would like to uh, enable symbolic, but I don't want I don't want to go with the default settings. I just would like to change how the walls are represented, the slabs are represented, and the roofs are represented. Now, in my uh, way here, I would like to see the walls. I would like to see the slabs and the roofs, but not with any of those details. I just would like to make them simplified to simple uh, one-layered walls. And I don't want to see ceilings. I don't want to see any of those suspended ceilings that I may have created inside. I don't want to see the, the doors and windows, only the openings, only the holes in, uh, in the walls. And I don't want to see the stairs and ramps and no objects, no detailed decoration uh, nowhere. And I don't want to see the, the beams and the columns neither. Uh, I also click here to the other uh, list and I uh, check whether anything is visible here. And that's fine for me. I don't want to enable anything. But uh, should you uh, uh, tick any of those options, that will also work uh, for your uh, purposes if you would like to. Now, I have an option to save these settings as global. This means that uh, those settings will be available in new, project, uh, new projects. Anytime I open up a new project, those will be my defaults. And I can also go back to the default or the factory settings whenever I would like to. Also, uh, I have the option here again to, to select the floors that I would like to represent. I would like to represent all the floors, so that's fine. But here I would like to uh, make a little tweak here uh, clicking on the custom uh, setting and I don't want to see the building volumes. Now if I would not customize this here, uh, now I decided only what happens with the, the, the wall slabs, roofs and everything else, but there is no setting for the building masses, for the building volumes. And as I know now, I don't want to see them. I just scroll down and I will disable them. So uh, it makes sure that whatever filter I have for any of those uh, items, those are 100% not visible. Okay, so I just click here and I click OK. And then now let's wait for the result. And just as I expected, the result lacks the building volumes and there are no detailed wall layers, no openings, nothing at all. And it's a very, very simple representation of my model. So this is how it goes. You can actually either go with the default settings of the software with the five different uh, default LOG settings in the software, or also you get you have the option to customize them. And this could be very useful also when you communicate with uh, other professions uh, and you would like to make your model less detailed, but you don't want to work with that a lot. Uh, so we'll, you will just use any of those ready-made settings and it will make it easier and perhaps lighten up the communication because you, in this case, for example, if you uh, export a schematic version of your model, you won't export the details, but perhaps the other profession uh, does not need all the layers, so you will be fine in the communication.